So the story goes like this. In 1993, there was a show I've seen called The Trials of Life. I seen a jaguar catch and eat an arapaima. I was five years old. Never knowing this was a possibility until River Monsters came out. And I thought I could actually have a shot at this. This is where the adventure begins. Who's going to carry the boats? Peacock on top. I just didn't even get the camera on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, watch them. Oops. Watch them come out and eat it. Pretty peacock. He's got the line all wrapped and twisted and just, just annihilated, so. Shoot. All right. Whatever. Here we go, peacock, y'all. Oh, Lord, a big one. Bakuda. Bakuda. Holy Jesus. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Keep it around. The... There you go. Front of the boat. There you go. All right. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. They do exist. Written in the stars. That's right. You'll probably catch more on that jerk bait than I will on the top water. But you got to hold your mouth right. That's the thing to catch some fish. I thought he was on float down it. Can we push in a bit more? So much easier than I stopped the other two sides. Get him. Hello. Oh, two of them. They follow each other. Big one. I'll, I'll let you do that. There you go. Big one, huh? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you, buddy. Mr. Paul, the legend. You gonna keep him for bait? Uh, it's up to you. Don't matter to me. I think we have one. Two, three. Yeah, I think we should keep this for bait. Okay. Yeah, All right, no more bait. No more bait. Damn, man, I couldn't land a bear, uh, bicuda all week, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah. <laughs> 
Lights out. He's just following it? Maybe they're protecting the baby, so I just had something swear like mine. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a peacock. It's a peacock. Oh. There you go, my boy. Paula's dog, they suck. Paula suck. Hooks. Great baits. Hooks. Trash. You want to start over from zero, you want to have a competition? I'm just messing with you, buddy. <laughs> oh! This dude gonna go home and read every fishing magazine there is. I'm never gonna fish again. <laughs> You'll be fine, man. No, cause I like my like this is the part that I'm like I I would rather run around and chase arowana at that point, right? But I know, get him. Yes, sir. Big one. Nice one. That's a good one. Holy crap. He's coming on your side. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so I might win it. You win it right now. <laughs> Game on. One one. Oh, okay. Can I have a picture, please? Oh no! That's my last and only one. <laughs> No picture, don't count. Yeah. <laughs> Back on zero now. Oh, fuck. I think the one you had yesterday was a little bit bigger. This one was just a different type. Oh my God. <coughs> that doesn't count. Red belly? Yeah. No. Black? Yeah, that's the other. This leads back to Lagoon? No. No? This creek. Wolf fish live here? No, it's Okay. Uh oh. Look at all of them. There we go. Big school up. Look at them all. There we go. Come off, that's fine. That's fine, I'm not worried about it. I've already caught freaking 15, 16 today. If I wanted them, I'd have flipped them in the boat. When we get back to camp, you gonna take a nap? Shake the peacocks. Shake the peacocks. Yeah, butterfly. Okay. Yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh yeah. That's a big one. Oh, he felt big way out there. 
He ain't that big. He's wrapped in the line though. Here we go. Let's trade. All right, y'all, y'all see the headlamp on my head. Uh, we finished fishing probably around one o'clock. Came back to the lodge and uh, gonna go out here, catch some uh, catfish for night. Trying to put Ewan on a big one. So see if Ewan can catch a big old giant fish tonight. Hopefully he catches a big one, then I can hook a bigger one. <laughs> so I'll catch you on a little bit. Hi, Ara. Damn, man. You got the grips on you. Uh, I do. Lots. Ah, man. Down. Nice one. I, I might have to do what you did so I can catch one. Payara, the vampire fish, at night. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna freaking drift that piece of dead bait. I don't want his ass to get me. See them big old teeth on that thing? Give him a kiss. Yeah. Vad the, Impla uh, Vad the Impaler back here. Broke me right there. No, he just come off. No. Oh. Another surname. So y'all check this out. These are the stuff that was left by the ancient Amerindian or Amazonian people from like I mean who knows how old this is. And it's and it's awesome to see something so old just like still preserved I'm guessing that's a monkey that's crazy something so old walking through still here. jungle right now going to another Arapaima lagoon um, they also have a lot of arowana in here but they're kind of hard to catch so we're gonna try this today and uh, like I said I'm gonna pay attention to where I'm walking make sure I don't get bit by no snakes I'll catch y'all when we get to fishing some tapir poop, tampir. All right, y'all, I think I got an airplane on right now. I think I got an airplane on, I do, I do, I do. Here we go. Oh no, big serving. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> and, have we got bait? <laughs> and a freaking respectable freaking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice I thought he was Arapaima. No bait for me, never Really? No. Never? No. Never, never. That's crazy. And he's a big one too. Yeah, that's a big one. Barely hooked. Look at look how he's hooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright y'all. The biggest cat of the trip, a Serbian, a tiger shovel nose. Look at this. Was so unexpected. I thought this was an Arapaima. And uh to catch one like this, I caught some small ones earlier. And uh, didn't get a picture. 
but now I got a picture of a proper fish. Here we go. It's beautiful. It stinks. <laughs> <sighs> well, thought it was an arapaima. Ends up being a tiger shovel nose. But uh, he said we're going to keep it for dinner, not bait. And we're having a really hard time trying to catch bait. So <sighs> I'm just not feeling today, man. It's just been... You know, 12 to 13 hours a day being awake for 16 sleeping for like six so it's just been pretty brutal man they have some absolutely massive fish and they said that it was actually really really tough right now because of the low water and it's just like being out in this heat it just eats you up but all this low water that we have and you know it makes everything much more difficult so there's our pima i just seen one surface right there right off the end of those rocks but maybe if we can get another bait what's that out there is that your little dead wolf fish right there at the top of the water all right y'all well this is the way that paul our guide is going to carry this sucker out of here he'd have made him some rope from a vine and uh he hog tied this I'm catfish back. yeah yeah I'm look at that <laughs> okay let's go all right Easy day for Paul. Take it easy on Paul. Well, he's not. He's going to get 20 of my tags out. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> 